Good day, learners. This is Easy Engineering. Today, we are going to talk about another fun and interesting topic in mathematics, which is sets and Venn diagrams. Let's start. In the previous video, we have discussed the basic concepts of set theory. Today, we'll be exploring more about sets. Suppose that there are 15 students in a classroom, specifically Jay, Mark, Louis, Hans, Francis, Clint, Dennis, Ray, Anna, Mary, Anna, Nicole, Princess, Fresh, and May. Each of them is a member of the set. Note that it is normal to have lowercase letters for their names. Now let's say that Ray, Mark, Clint, Nicole, and Francis like math. Well, Francis, Fresh, Clint, Ray, and Mary like science. We can put their names into two separate circles. If you want to list the students who like math or science, then we can write the union of the two sets. Union of two sets is the first operation of sets, and we will discuss it right now. Union of sets A and B is the set of elements which are in A in B, or in both A and B. In symbols, it is written as, as for the example, a Venn diagram is a very convenient to use because it shows lots of information. We can really see that Ray, Mark, Clint, Nicole, and Francis are in the math set, while Princess Trish, Clint, Ray, and Mary are in the science set. And here is the clever thing. We can see that Clint and Ray are in both sets. All of that in one small diagram. Amazing, right? Now let us discuss another operation in sets. This is called the intersection. Intersection is when you must be in both sets. In our example, two students both like math and science. And that is Clint and Ray. The special symbol for intersection is an upside down U, like this in the figure. This is how we write it. If we illustrate it in a Venn diagram, it looks like this. Okay, now let us move on to the next operation in sets. This operation is called difference. And for this example, the people who like math but not science are Mark, Nicole, and Francis. This is how we write it math minus science. And if we illustrate in a Venn diagram, it will look like this. It only shows the names of the students who like math but not science. So far in this lesson, we have learned the operations in two sets. To recap, we use union if it is in either of the sets or both sets. We use intersection if it is only in both sets. And we use the difference if it is in one set but not the other. But what if we are given three sets? Actually, you can also use the Venn diagram for three sets. Back to the example students, let us say that some students like a third subject, which is history. Suppose Jay, Ray, Hans, Nicole, and Mary likes history. But let's be more mathematical and use a capital letter for each set. Let M be the set for students who like math. Let S set of students who like science. And let H be the set for students who like history. Now, the Venn diagram would look like this. This diagram shows the union of the three sets. M, union S, union H. You can see that Mark and Francis like math. Princess and Fresh like science. J and Hans like history. Nicole likes both math and history. Clint likes both math and science. Mary likes both science and history, and Ray likes all three subjects. As you can see, we can now have some fun with unions and intersections. Amazing, right? Recall the universal set that we discussed in the previous video. Universal set is the set that has everything, well not exactly everything, but rather everything that we are interested in. In our example, we have 15 students in the class, but only few were mentioned, right? You see, all 15 students are part of the universal set. In mathematics, the universal set is denoted by the capital letter U, which is easily confused with the symbol U for union. Just be careful about it, okay? Now, going back to the example, we'll let U be the students in the class. So we have U equal to J, Mark, Louis, Hans, Francis, Clint, Dennis, Ray, Anna, Mary, Hannah, Nicole, Princess, Trish, and May. We can show the universal set in a Venn diagram by putting a box around the whole thing, 
like so. Now you can see all the 15 students neatly sorted into what subject they like or not. And then we can do interesting things like this. Take the whole set and subtract the ones who likes history. We write it this way. The universal set minus the history set is the set mark. Francis, Clint, Princess, Trish, May, Anna, Anna, Louis, and Dennis. Or in, simple, in, or in simpler words, everyone who does not like history. The last operation and set that we are going to discuss is the complement. Complement is a special way of saying everything that is not. We show it by writing it like this. It is read as H complement, which means everything that is not in H, like this, which is exactly the same as the previous example. Fun, right? To summarize it all, we have four operations in set. Union is in either set or both sets. Intersection is only in both sets. Difference is one set but not the other. And lastly, complement of A is everything that is not in A. That would end our topic for today. Did you have fun learning with us? I hope you did. Till then, see you next time for more interesting and fun topics only here in Easy Engineering. We'll make engineering topics easy and fun for you.